well the feedback no matter it's written or oral should be treated as a sort of dialogue the dialogue which opens up windows for further negotiation which encourages students to come up with their own questions which makes student prepare a range of questions to be asked to the teacher so let's discuss the principles for providing written feedback and there are a range of principles from constructive to encouraging to positive uh, so these principles take into account the student agency student self esteem student identity so while responding to written work um let's let's keep in mind that teacher is not the only respondent there can be peers there can be some collaboration as well and the written commentary is not the only option i mean sometimes some of our teachers tend to make the use of only written commentary without inviting students for conferencing remember that the written feedback should be followed by some conferencing from one to one sitting and discussion and teachers should not do not need to respond to each single aspect of student writing for example um if it's grammar i mean they should only point out grammar if it's content or the development of argument so it it should be the approach should be holistic one taking into account various aspects of writing for example if the student work is rife with grammatical inconsistencies the teacher might point out on the first page and then suggest that these can these kind of inconsistencies continue to happen throughout the text instead of laboring on every page of the text so feedback another principle is that it should focus on issues presented by an individual student and not and her paper as well um i mean individual student sometimes the student might be reluctant or they might take that the feedback is criticism on them as persons no in this way it's important that the feedback should be balanced in terms of focusing on the work not the writer so we should as language teachers avoid in appropriating a student's text by appropriation means taking correcting too much of it if we correct too much of it the student might feel demoralized so final decision about the content or revision should be left left up to the student i mean it's not the teacher who will decide that this has to be improved this has to be revised this has to be added this has to be deleted we can suggest we can refer to we can signal but the final decision has to be taken care of by the students themselves so feedback which is both encouraging and positive provides student encouragement motivation and it enhances their self esteem so we should treat students as individuals with their varied socio economic backgrounds educational backgrounds socio cultural backgrounds i mean we shouldn't see our students as deficit like an empty vessel uh, which can be filled through the feedback so feedback is as i said in the beginning is a is an ongoing dialogue which not only invites students for further negotiation but also encourages them to take charge of their own learning